the beast. When I was young, I often pictured myself as a hero, ready to rescue the damsel in distress. But when I started dating King, she didn't seem to need rescue. When we'd go walking, she'd smell flowers and fantasize about the shapes of clouds and talk about poets. She'd say how much she loved me and nature and life. I felt overwhelmed by her optimism and energy. Once, she told me she dreamed about being pregnant with my child. Since we were both still students, the mere thought of fathering a child made me want to climb to the top of a Georgia pine tree and hang out with the possums. Controlling my panic, in a rational tone of voice, I said, Hey, I want kids too, but not till we finish school. After we finished college and married, I suggest that we indulge in a few years of fun before making babies. That's when King said she never wanted children. At first, I just figured her bad mood would pass, but it never did. Gradually, I began to realize that her coin had two sides. One, bright and shiny, full of optimism and energy. The other, dark and gloomy, full of pessimism and lethargy, what she called depression. Maybe someone with her psychological condition wouldn't make a very good mother. She was right not to want kids. I did this painting of King based on a photo taken in Windsor Garden in 1978 while vacationing in London. It was a good trip with visits to lots of art museums. Doing things together like taking trips, enjoying art, that's the basis of a good marriage, right? And, of course, love is the meaning of life. But what was the meaning of depression? What does it mean to be depressed? I asked her. You don't know? I've listened to you talk about it. I've seen you when you say you're depressed, but I've never experienced it. You're just abnormal. Everyone gets depressed. Hmm, not everyone. Explain it to me. If you don't know, you're hopeless. She'd never discuss her bad feelings, just tell me to go away and let her alone. So when she started seeing a psychiatrist, I thought that might be a good thing. But then she told me she wanted a divorce. She just popped the idea on me all of a sudden with no discussion or anything. I didn't understand. She said, we didn't agree about a lot of things, like feelings, and like chores and money. But, I said, we discussed money just last week. I thought we agreed. I agreed with you rationally, but not emotionally. This was the first time that the word schizophrenia meant something to me. Not the disease, but the idea that the mind could be split into two parts. King's emotions and reason apparently didn't communicate. It seemed to me that most of King's negative feelings were related to whatever went on in her head, not anything happening in the real world. Once I said to her, I don't think things are so bad. Your problems are all in your head. Boy, did she get mad when I said that. Back in the 70s, I didn't know about any drugs for manic depression. I don't think they'd been invented. Anyway, King denied that she had any serious psychological problems. As she saw it, her bad feelings were caused by me, by Houston, and by her job. So she dumped me, moved to Austin, and got a new job. Why didn't the hero rescue Beauty from the Beast? Because Beauty was the Beast. Thank you.